Hey, what's up guys? Teacher Ben here. Uh, this is my seventh installment. Uh, first of all, como esta pokeo? Como esta man uh, ka? Como esta man uh, camo? Uh, so this is, we are looking at Lonely Planet Philippines, and we are talking about the area south of Manila. In particular, we are looking at the magnificent Lake Tall. I have been there absolutely breathtaking. Give it a try. Um, and I actually revisited it uh, on my way to Batangas. And so let's read a little bit here. We have Tagay Tai and Lake Tall. Stunning out along a high ride of overlooking uh, stunning Lake Tall and multiple craters of of active tall volcano. Tagaytay is a thoroughly absorbing town. Uh, and it, by the way, it is 71,000. Okay, so a thoroughly absorbing town where you could easily spend a couple days admiring the views. Um, hiking the volcano, sailing on the lake, and dining out in style. Okay. So yes, Lake Tall is an amazing place to visit, kind of like the Sun Moon Lake in Taiwan. About 600 meters below Tagay Tai, Lake Tall, okay, so 600 meters, wow. That's like a lap and a half on the track. Okay, so Lake Tall and Volcano Island lie within a prehistoric volcano crater measuring 75 kilometers round. Whoa, uh, that's huge. This ancient crater forms Tagay Tai Ridge, where the town is haphazardly draped like a set of Russian matrosh, matrosh, matroshka dolls. Okay, so we have Russian matroshka dolls. Okay, volcano in turn encircles its own little crater lake, itself containing a small island. Okay, so Tagay Tai is uh, 60 kilometers south of Manila. Tagay Tai is everything the capital is not. Cool, clean, gorgeous, and oxygenated. The nature of the town changes dramatically on weekends, though when the Manila hordes arrive and traffic jams appear. Okay, so some sites here, we have the tall volcano, that is only 50 pesos, so <laughs> like $1. Wow, very cheap here in Philippines. Um, let's see here. And it does go through um, hotels there in Tagay Tai, uh, eating. I'm sure I will not have any problem eating. Okay, so, and then we have the town of Tall which is 56,000. Says it's famous for its heritage list, colonial tilt buildings. Okay. Here's what I'm looking for. Here we have Batangas. Okay. The busy industrial port of Batangas is a major transport hub both for buses and for ferries to Porto Galera and a few. Yes, I did in fact use this uh, this port and I took a bus to Mindoro, the island to the south, uh, right to the south of what essentially is the Manila. Yes, that is Mindoro. And I actually visited a lovely town called Rojas on the Mindoro Island. And, uh, yeah, there's little else of interest to travelers, okay? So, and then you can actually take a boat to the amazing Boracay. That one is definitely something worth visiting. Um, we have the town of Anilao. That is essentially another scuba diving hub. Um, yeah, it does go into more scuba diving. Um, Mount Bonahau. Okay. Yeah, 
Okay, so here we have, um, it says that Mount Bonahau, um, is the mountain is said to be inhabited by a host of deities and spirits. Okay, so um, most famously Filipino revolutionary hero and poet Jose Rizal, who was executed by the Spanish in 1896. A group called the Rizalistas believed that Rizal was, re <laughs> was the reincarnation of Christ. Okay, at least 75 cults have taken up residence on the mountain's lower reaches, oh boy. dedicating their lives to the spirit of Rizal and others that dwell in Bonahau's crater. Okay, so essentially that will give us um, our feeling of the area south of Manila. So I did want to you know, uh, basically give a report on Tagaytay, uh, a little bit about uh, Batangas, and uh, yeah, so, and of course the city of Tall. So there you have it. That is my seventh installment in the ongoing series of tourism in the Philippines. Have a nice day. Palam. Uh, bye bye.